everybody and welcome along to a brand new reaction with me and Megan this week where we're continuing our series five reactions, series Ooh, five of Doctor Who, well um, with the like. second part of this two part weekly angel story. I think you rather enjoyed even if yeah, you were a bit scared really by the, the first last part. Episode. Um, yeah, it was really good. There, it did require some cushion action. Lots of cushion action. I think there might be more required in this episode, we'll see, but... Um, <laughs> Got yeah. them at the ready here. Yes, they're all, all set and ready. Um, as always guys, remember that like button on this video and subscribe if you're new here. Thank you for all the support, it's always amazing, the last video did so well. Thank you guys for all your support even though we don't know yeah. yet. But I just know it will have done well because you guys are awesome, let's be honest. Aww. So keep that support going for this video and I guess it's that time, so without further ado, let's get into the reaction! Oh, so they're on the ceiling. Because the gravity thing has disappeared so they the artificial gravity won't go jumping up and fell. Yeah, you move, move, move. Go, 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 now, 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 obviously. That's what you do. When he tells you to do it, you should do it. You trust him. He's not some kind of madman, then. I absolutely trust him. <laughs> You're not taking your word. Five minutes, Max. Nine. Five. Five, right, yeah. Watch your nine. I didn't. What's wrong with Amy? We need another way out of here. What did you say? Nothing. Is there another exit? She's up. counting you down. Have time to get lost in there. Got it. Fine. Fine. You're counting. Down. You're just counting down. How long does it take to realise that, guys? Why? I don't know. Oh, it's the crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot. She's an old lassie. I was silently panicking then. <laughs> she lives! She lives! That was such a good idea! Yeah, she's still a prize. How? Other thing. What thing? I don't know. It's a thing in progress. Respect the thing. Moving out. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's no like, I'm so done with him. <laughs> These are my best. How can it be here? I don't know yet, but I'm working it out. Now, listen. Remember what I told you when you were seven? What did you tell me? No. You have to remember. Aww. Remember what? Doctor? Doctor? It's gone. What's that? But what if it could? What if what could? Time. What if time could run out? Got it. Angels have burned for sale. Over here again. No, 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 no. Their teeth are just so horrible. What is it? Don't open your eyes, Amy. Don't open your eyes. Keep your position, and mom, keep your eyes shut. Wait. Ship's not on fire, is it? Can't be. The compressors would have taken care of it. Keep watching! Oh, 
Oh, I mean, you're dead, basically. Oh, you're dead you now. You don't believe you. Yes. Did you cheat your friends? Just tell me why she was in school. Oh, my gosh. She killed a man. A good man. A hero to many. You don't want to know, sir. You really don't. Who did she kill? Sir, the angels are coming. You have to leave me. You'll die. I will die in the knowledge that my courage did not deserve me again. And I thank God. Bless the path that takes you to safety. I wish I'd known you better. I think so. You know me at my best. Aww. Ready? Content. This is not good, guys. The angels, they're everywhere. Yeah, they are, because all you need to go quick. What does the time energy do? Just keep moving. Tell me, if the time energy catches up with you, you'll never have been born. It will erase every moment of your existence. You will never have lived at all. Now, move. Keep your eyes shut and keep moving. It's never going to work. What else have you got? Weaver, tell me! Amy, you can do it. Problems <laughs> for now. For now. It's a good man. 
very good man. It's him, isn't it? It's the best man I've ever known. It's him. Who? <laughs> it's a long story, Doctor. It can't be told. It has to be lived. No sneaky It's him. Reviews. It's him. Obviously it's well, him. Except for this one. Oh. I'll see you I thought he was going to kiss her for a minute. I was like, chill on. I remember it well. <laughs> Stormy Lace Sky. Survive. They survive and Amy's all snuggled up. That's what I look like on the weekends. <laughs> Literally, that's exactly what I look like on the weekends. My little blanket. I want to go home. <gasps> no. Okay. Guys, not like that. I just. I just want to show you something. You're running from River. I'm running too. <gasps> from this mystery man. Blimey. I know. This is the same night you left, yeah? We've got five minutes. I'm getting married in the morning. Why did you leave it here? Why did I leave my engagement ring off when I ran away with a strange man on the night before my wedding? Yeah. You're hmm. really an army aren't you? <laughs> Who's the lucky fella? You met him. Ah, oh, the good looking one. Or the other one. The other one. Well, he was good too. Which is the good looking one? Rory. The other one. Oh, no. yes, Rory. I love him. Before their wedding. Why would you need comforting? I nearly died. I was alone in the dark and I nearly died. And it made me think. Well, yes, natural. I think sometimes. Well, lots mm. of times. About what I want. About who I want. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. About who I want. Oh, right, yeah. No, you're still not getting it. Doctor, in a word. In one very simple word, even you can understand. <gasps> you're getting married in the morning. Well, the morning's a long time away. Listen to me, I am 907 years old. Do you understand what that means? It's been a while. Yeah, no, 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 I'm 907. And look at me, I don't know <laughs> I'll just change. You get older, I don't, and this can't ever work. Oh, you are sweet, Doctor, but I really wasn't suggesting anything quite so long term. <laughs> but you're human, you're Amy, you're getting married in the morning. In the morning. Sir? It's you, it's all about you. E everything. It's about you. What? How the fuck? Wait, what? Amy Pond. Mad. Impossible Amy Pond. I don't know why, I have no idea. But quite possibly, the single most important thing in the history of the universe is that I get you sorted out right now. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Come on! <laughs> Wait, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> and for those of us who can't read the base code of the universe, maybe it's time. Same date. Wait, what? That's the date. Wait, so this is another episode after this? This is more intense. That's not the end! That's not the end of the episode! There's gonna be more! Well, okay, that's, that's We're the, the next one! That's the end of the story, no. What? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> There's still eight episodes in this series. Wait, what's happened to Amy? Do you know what's happened to Amy? She went all like, oh, doctor, I'm like, oh, why did no, you do that? Because she wanted to get with the doctor, I guess. But then why did he rush her out? Because he's confused about what's going on because of her being her and the way she is and the fact she doesn't remember stuff and the crack and the fact the dates that the date of this day and everything it doesn't make a lot of sense and he's like what's going on so this is not like normal doctor who where every episode is like a tight it's tied off at the end i know i don't like it why not i'm confused i don't <laughs> like being confused you don't have to keep on watching why it's still you? a bit of a cliffhanger is it meant to be a cliffhanger kind of roughly but not completely it's like the next story obviously has nothing to do with the Weeping Angels or anything like that because no. that's all finished. 
but there is a general arc that carries on through the series, like yeah. in other main main normal TV programs, yeah, you know, where a plot sense. carries all the way. Yeah. Just there's other main focuses in each story. That doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. Okay. What are you doing? Just checking this again. I guess it still hasn't emailed me. It's nearly four o'clock, which is kind of depressing. What time is it meant to come up? Don't know. Just today, but I wouldn't expect it's going to be at 10 p.m. because they won't be working then. Well, that was Flesh and Stone, the second part of that kind of ending story, but you're also kind of confused because there's yeah. lots of other Still things going on. Still lots of questions is... unanswered. Yes, it's one of those series where you've got to keep watching all of it to, yes. to fully understand everything that's going on over in the grand scheme of things. But overall, did you enjoy that as a two-part story? Absolutely, I did. Definitely really good. Good to see the Weeping Angels again. They were quite yeah, a threat and menacing and you were screaming very good. and dying and, well, as you guys saw. Lots Thoroughly. of stress. So, lots of stress. Very stressful, you know, characters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're very... They wanted, I think they the are best my, the best villains, in okay. my opinion. Okay. I think they just... Because they create so much tension. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they just... They feel such a threat. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. And well, there's... What did you think about the, the ending? As much as you were confused by the ending, what did you it's think about the not whole... Not family appropriate. Amy, like, insinuating wanting to do it with the Doctor? I can't tell if that was real, or if she was, she's been, like, possessed or something. Okay, okay. But, like, kind of all for it, like... Okay. I think Amy's, like, the most beautiful woman in the whole world, so... <laughs> I think she's a good companion okay. as well. Okay. I, I, mean, I the... think she. Made, I, I like her as a character, and I think that, you know, uh, although it's very unlikely, mm -hmm. you know, if yes. anything wants okay. to go with okay. Doctor, you know. I mean, I think the one thing I'll say, which I don't think is particularly a spoiler, is that Stephen Moffat has said since that that's probably the scene he regrets the most in writing. Really? And he looks at it now and thinks, I should never have done that. Why? That that's just too much for Doctor Who, among other things. I didn't like it, it was too kinky. Inappropriate, yes. Yes, yeah. he very much felt that wasn't in hindsight the yeah. right thing to do um but yeah it's an interesting choice i don't I think know why it, um, you would do that like, i can't remember if, i don't remember it at the time so i don't know how controversial it was in the fandom at the time as i was only 12 years old but um i, like, I feel it. like got a lot of complaints from what i remember at the moment it's, it's not relevant no like no, it doesn't add or take anything away no it's just a kind of a not needed scene isn't yeah it? i mean he apart from setting up the whole something mysterious if you just on. finish something off in the bedroom not not wow <laughs> If you just finish something off in the bedroom, yeah. If you just like, if they like had a conversation in the bedroom and she kind of like said it in a way that was like, oh, you know, like I just feel like I need one last final fling before I get married, and then didn't do anything about it, then that's a bit. But maybe that'll be, that would have been slightly. Maybe not better. using the word fling, but yeah, but I can think of a better word. You know, like you know, like <laughs> okay, okay, I need okay. one last. Um, there's not really a good word for it, is there? Yeah, lover. Yeah, something like that. Oh, no. um, but yeah, so that was a yeah an interesting scene to to finish on. Yeah. But definitely. are you looking forward to the rest of the series to find out Absolutely. well what's going on, frankly? Because mm. yes. it's kind of like they've given you a few hints here and stuff about the crack, obviously making people be unwritten when yeah. they got near this crack, and about it whole sort of changing well yeah changing time, removing people changing from time, time and stuff. Yeah. So interesting things. I'm looking forward to seeing the, the crack how it set changes. up by some sort of big explosion. We don't yeah, know what, what the explosion, of explosion is where on earth that come from. That's the other sort of things we know of so far. But yes, they're yeah. just leading us leading us along. So there's certainly lots to look forward to as there you guys is. know I'm, I'm sure. Excited. Lots of great episodes to come. Mm. Um I don't think we'll react to the next episode called The Vampires of Venice. Oh gosh. Um I don't think we'll react I wanna to go that to one, Venice. But... I like Venice. We'll see, but then we will definitely be reacting to the following four episodes after that. First one being Amy's choice. Mm, is she going to choose to get married or the, not? I one think. of the very rare times where the character companion's name is in the title of an episode. Mm. Pretty much, I think, has only happened with Rose. Rose. The first episode was called Rose. Oh, yeah. And the name is choice. It's very, very rare. So that'll be something to look forward to. As I say, we may react to the next one, but probably not. So please don't shoot, shoot me when we don't. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Remember to hit that like button and that subscribe button, of course. And we'll be back next week for our next reaction. Um, but apart from that, we'll see you again very soon. <laughs> we'll see you later. Have a good Bye. week. Bye.